we've covered how to deal with structured data and getting that into Splunk. Now let's talk about some more unstructured where um, we're gonna have to do some parsing. The data is in a CSV. It's uh, very typical like syslog logs. I'm going to bring up an example here. I've got a DHCPD log from my PFSense sensor. If I open this, I can see what the logs look like. There are no headers. I just kind of have to read it and figure out what they mean. I'm going to walk through how to get these parsed in. And one of the best things I can tell you, if you get the logs, it's really helpful to get the documentation for what the logs mean. Otherwise, you are off uh, speculating. But anyway, um, so for me, if I want to take a look at how these logs go, I can just log into my PFSense box. And I went into my DHCPD logs. And this is what the, um, my PFSense breaks those logs out. I get a timestamp, a process, a PID. But then even here, we're going to see that uh, we don't have exactly what we were looking for. And so um, we're going to have to do some parsing here. We're going to, this is nice. It's a great message, but there's some valuable stuff. These are DHCP logs. Maybe I want these IP addresses out, this MAC address out. Here looks to be a resolution of my name, things like that. So well, let's let's go ahead and try that. Let's put that in practice. We're going to go into Splunk. I think we're going to come into settings. We're going to add data. And I'm just going to upload data here. We're going to select a file. We're going to go to my home uh, lame example. We're going to load this DHCPD log in there. And this time, whereas before it could say, oh, it's a JSON, oh, it's a CSV, it basically says, yeah, I don't know what that is. And so what we're going to do, we're going to make a, we're going to save as, we're going to make our own file. We're going to call this lame DHCP and put in, put in the description, DHCP log something, I'm going to make it a custom, and I want to put it in my lame YouTube TA app, that very app that I was using to apply that we're going to push out everywhere. So if I come in here and I hit save, I want to make sure I put all that stuff in this app so I can easily push out the changes when we're done. All right, we're going to look at input settings. We'll leave it as host field. Sure, what index we want to put it in. We'll put it in lame training. I'll hit review. We want to upload file, DHCPD. Sounds good. Sounds good. We're all good. We submit this in. It's going to upload that file and let's start searching. The logs are in. Unfortunately, they do not parse very well. We can see that they are not breaking apart like we want. And so we're going to need to parse them. And so what we do, let's grab a log. For example, this one's not bad. I can see here. Um, yeah, I got enough fields here to work with. So we're going to go event actions, and I'm going to extract fields. And if there were del delimiters, such as you have comma, space, CSV, you can use this. Um, usually, if I have a good delimiter, I don't have to worry about it. But there are some times where you just get spaces and other character delimiters you can use. But usually, it's, to, it's regular expression is where you're going to go. So you select down here on regular expression, and then go click Next. What we're going to do is we're going to select the fields. And so this here, let's just grab this MAC address. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to call it MAC or totally misspelled M. -M. And so anyway, I hit extraction. It's going to go grab all these different logs and look and say, yeah, actually, that's a pretty good example of a MAC. This, on the other hand, is not a Mac. So this is incorrect. So we'll want to fix that if we can. Um, and so the way we check that is we can uh, hit the validate button later. Um, so for now, let's just leave that. Let, well, yeah, let's go forward. We'll go hit next. And we're going to say this is not. So lease is dropped. And when we do that, these disappear. So I, all I did was I hit that little X there and said that was not a MAC address. And we'll just scan through a bunch of these files and see if there's any examples, again, of non-MAC addresses. All right, we're good there. Sweet. And so we can then hit Next. And I'm going to make it as an extract MAC. Sweet. 
and unfortunately I put this in the wrong app. I need to make sure I did the I did my own fallacy, but it's good. It's a good lesson taught here. We don't want we want to do the search inside the app we want to create so that it saves those features inside our app. Um, otherwise, I'm going to find this stuff in my search file, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and get back out of this. We want unless I go to search and reporting. Let's go to Lame YouTube TA. I'm going to go index equals lame training. Source type equals lame DHCP. Grab 100 of them, whatever. And we'll do the exact same thing. We're going to come in here, event actions. Now I'm in the right app, so I don't have to worry about moving the changes. Keep all my stuff nice and contained. Hit regular expression. Next, I'll go ahead and select this as the MAC address. And we'll call this MAC. Add the extraction. Oop, and I messed up. So I did not get the three in there. Remove. That's how you can fix it. So select the whole thing, call it Mac, and add extraction. We'll see again, these things are wrong. So fix that, we move on to the next. Hit the X. Those are gone. We're good to go, let's just save it. Hit save, I'm gonna make it available in my app. I might want to make it available to all apps, but for this sake, I'm just going to leave it globally. Oh, well, it probably makes more sense to put it all apps. So then I'm going to hit finish, and those logs are going to show up. Now let me save. I want to do something useful, show something here. If I come into this Splunk, and I go to settings, and we're going to go to fields. we can actually see the field extractions. So if I grab those field extractions, it's the very thing we were doing here. I'm gonna go grab the Splunk TA, YouTube TA. And we should have a Mac, if I put Mac in here. Come on. There's my lame DHCP extract Mac. And we can actually see this was the regex that it created. Maybe you want to use that somewhere else. You can go copy and edit it or copy and paste it somewhere else. Or you can actually come in here and say, you know what? This wasn't written quite right. And you can go modify it right here to fix that. And so that's how you extract the Mac out. One of the things you could do while you do field extraction, we'll go ahead and uh, Extract. We're going to go back to the search. We'll close this. Make sure we're in the right app. We're in the lame tube TA. Yep. Um, some people will do extract lots and lots of different fields all at the exact same time. That works, but recognize now you are just making a very complex regex statement. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's not. But I just want you to be aware that it, it comes with pros and cons. Often I will just extract in situations like this. I might just extract one at a time. So this is the dest IP, but I could do so that um, again, this has decided that it thinks it's leases, so we're going to get rid of that. But this is let's try this. I'm going to make this as an action. Add the extraction. So you can do more than one at a time. And see now we've lost. This is the, the issue when you start doing multiple now, so your regex doesn't quite fit. But if I had if I did it one at a time, you have a little better chance of making the whole thing work. And so now we got back all my IP addresses. So there are pros and cons to doing it both ways. Play around with what works. It's not perfect regex. I have some guys I work with that are just regex ninjas. Um, they'll just write one gi giant regex and get it all done. I'm not of that skill level. I'm not anywhere close. So I tend to come in here and do the field extraction. I'll do one at a time um, if I'm getting any sort of any sort of errors. Basically, if it worked and it worked throughout the whole thing, I might go out and I'll add another one and see if I can get them to hit more than one. 
uh, filled at a time. But do what works based off your sample type. I'm going to come back, just a reminder how to get rid of this. We've, we're validating, we see that's not right. So we exclude that. And we're good to go. So I hit next, save, save it for all apps. And I finish. Okay, now we're going to come into my Splunk here. And if I go drop some directories, let's get the listing on that YouTube, lame YouTube TA, CD, lame YouTube. TA. If I go into the local directory, oops, I should have done DIR, but whatever. Um, props. Now, if I could, now we have a new folder called props.conf. If I go into props.conf, I can see. Well, we've got some. We'll have the little regex structure. So if I come down to lame DHCP, we can see that it's now put this extract Mac and then put the regex there, extract dest IP and put the Mac, uh, put the address there. Nice thing about doing them one at a time, it sure makes it a whole lot easier to see what's going on. But again, you choose what makes works for you. But now I've created this props file. I can now pass this out to any direct, any uh, Splunk system that I want. And at using a deployment server. And the same way we had unstructured data, we can now, uh, with structured data with CSVs and JSON, we can do the same thing with unstructured data. Um, I hope this helps. If this was, uh, I hope this helps you on your journey from becoming a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. And if, uh, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Um, I keep wanting to put out these videos. If you have suggestions for videos you want to see, put them down in the comments below. Join my uh, 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 join my social media channels down below. You can see other ways of, of getting hold of me if you submit them. These whole these videos were actually created as a request from a uh, subscriber. So uh, feel free to reach out to me. I, I like I like getting direction from the community. Anyway, uh, hope to hope you'll watch other videos.